guys, I just wanted to do a haul of a few stores that I've been shopping at the past few weeks. Target, which is like on the daily, but this is a specific haul of things that were cool and on sale. Um, Walmart, that I purchased some Valentine's clothes for the kids, and Stride Right because they needed new shoes. So let's start with Stride Right. This is the most recent purchase that I've made. Jeff and I found um, an outlet store. Uh, closer than the previous outlet and those are the only places around here in Pennsylvania where we live that have stride right and I know I can purchase online however because they are shoes and already both of the kids are very hard to fit because of their wide feet their high arches um, etc that we've had a lot of um, difficulty since they needed shoes um, and purchasing and finding ones that fit them good and that stay on and are comfortable and that they don't trip in. So um, their first pair of shoes were stride right shoes however they grew out of them and then I, I thought that they were okay because I was finding other shoes like JCPenney shoes and some other like just random no name shoes that were fitting them. I thought it would be okay however boots that I bought Tristan from Walmart he keeps tripping in and I don't know why I didn't think of this of why he was like tripping so much lately and that's because the like cheaper shoes are not the flexible soles like stride right they have like three levels of shoes like beginning walkers more experienced walkers and then runners and so the like step one and two shoes you can bend and fold and everything and that's what they need at their age so I feel like such a dummy that I didn't even realize that that's what his problem was because he would take like a few steps and trip a few steps and trip and I'm like you've been walking for a while now what's going on so I'm so glad that we went and we got them measured because holy smokes he measured so his feet like most he has a big difference in one foot to the other so his left foot measured six and a half his right foot measured a seven so therefore we had to go up half a size from his bigger foot so seven and a half is what he wears and then Sydney measured a four and a half on both feet um, and we went up to a five however we ended up purchasing a five and a half for her because of the shoes that we wanted didn't have her have the size five as well as it was okay to go a little bit bigger she walks just fine in them and i have a feeling that she's going to be going through a growth spurt um, again and so i need these to last um, until you know spring until the next season so because these are very wintry shoes so her shoes are these and i love them because this is the first time that jeff has like really made a decision like that he said I like these most of the time I'll be like oh what do you think oh whatever get what you want I like them I don't care it's your choice doesn't matter to me whatever he'll say the typical guy kind of things these ones he went around with Sydney and found them and like got me and was like I really like these for her these are cute and so that was it I stopped looking for shoes for her didn't take another glance because I love the fact that he had an input and like chose these out for her and that's what I've always wanted like I love when he like has an opinion about things for the kids and stuff so um, he had just happened to have Sydney and was browsing and I happened to have uh, Tristan and was browsing so I picked out Tristan's and actually I ended up going off of because I liked these so much that he picked out for Sydney that I went the same style and did like the high um, the high top type style for him and so hers are very wintry they're leather they have the fur on the top here it's not all the way down it's just in the tongue and there which is good because her feet tend to be cold and then it's just the elastic and the velcro that pulls out and so it makes it very open and easy to get on her feet and then his have no fur which I like because he has very hot sweaty feet but same style where it's the velcro on top that you can completely pull out and open up the tongue and the elastic there all leather and very nice quality so while stride right shoes are pricey it was $55 for both of these shoes I think they're really important for kids um, for anyone to have good quality shoes not necessarily quantity so I think I'm gonna go back to what I originally said and I'm gonna stop buying any of the cheaper no-name brand shoes um, because they just don't work for my kids 
I bought Sydney like these really cute cowgirl boots um, from JCPenney and like it, they constantly fall off her and not because they're too big I don't understand it's always the left foot just keeps falling off of her and then um, so another pair like that the shoe will always come off and then as far as Tristan like I said he has super wide feet and then he trips in the hard soles so it's just worth it to me to buy one pair of shoes um, as they need it so basically I'm guessing we'll end up buying shoes like four times a year and that's okay uh, so that is stride right then at Walmart I love holidays I can't help it I want my kids to totally be into holidays I want to be that cheesy mom that does all the silly stuff every you know holiday I don't care if it's St. Patrick's Day or Valentine's Day Christmas Halloween like all of them I want to have fun so for, since it's January already, Valentine's stuff is already out in the stores. So for Tristan, I got this onesie that says, Death to Love. <laughs> it's so cute. And it might end up, well, probably will be passed down to um, Sydney rather quickly. It's 18 months. They didn't go any bigger in that. It does look big, so I'm not going to wash it. It'll fit on, like, for a few times in February. But um, he's, he's a beast. And then for Sydney... I got little love bug and I got same size 18 months and this will be no problem to shrink for her because she actually still fits in 12 month onesies, short sleeve ones anyway. And then for Jamas, we got Sydney, the ladybug ones again, and I got her 24 months. These shrink down a lot. And then I got Tristan, the 3T hashtag ladies man. So and how Jamas were only... $5.98 and the onesies were $3.25 so for less than 10 bucks they got super cute Valentine's stuff so they're set because I want to have um, really cute pictures to do like Valentine's Day cards so that was all I got from Walmart from Target I got some good deals uh, the babes have been into sticker books like crazy ever since we gave them like this dollar sticker book at Christmas. They will sit there, they love stickers, just putting them on anywhere, like in, they actually like keep it in the sticker book. Sometimes they stick it on themselves and that's really because me and Jeff do it out of silliness. But they are really good to stick the stickers in the book, like they'll sit there with us. So I wanted to find some sticker books that were reusable stickers so that we could get a little bit more use out of them because they do it like so quick that we're flying through stickers really fast. And I remember Melissa and Doug, which I love their line, had reusable sticker books and Target had them for $4.99 and I had gift cards for the kids from Christmas. So I went ahead and picked these up and one of them is uh, Habitats. And what it is is it has all these sheets of stickers and then it has like it it smells like the window clings like it's that kind of reusable material so it has all the different sheets which are the five different habitats and then it has a scene so like this is the farm scene so then you would take these and you would be able to create a scene of course the babies are just little i don't try to like make them do things exact or put things i just let them throw it on there so that's what they will do um and it has all the different scenes and again it's like that plasticky material so obviously eventually like they'll lose their stick and stuff especially with like the babies having greasy hands from eating or sticky hands or whatever um, I'm sure that they won't last a super long time but at least we'll get quite a bit of use out of them so that's the first one the second one I got was vehicles and same thing it comes with five different pages of different things with vehicle C um, trucks and construction stuff and so for five bucks I thought that was a really good deal and that wasn't on sale or anything that was just the price of them though we haven't dug into these ones yet because I have quite the collection of stickers and sticker books now after seeing how much that they like them I um, kind of wanted to build up a little stash when I found cool ones or good deals because uh, like right now it's snowing um, but it's been really cold outside so there's no park playing we try to get them out um, but it's a lot of indoor play and I just think this is really good for them to like focus and focus on one thing and to have patience and to like learn things and stuff it's really fun to do it with them both Jeff and I actually really have a good time kind of playing stickers with them 
then I had almost bought the babies these during the holiday season because they love them so much. They are five bucks each. So that's ten dollars and I was like, ah, that just seems so crazy because the lights, you never know how much they are really used in the store and most of the batteries for these are watch batteries which are so much more expensive than you even pay for the toy because um, we have like little ones that we had purchased like a long time ago that once the battery died and we found out it was watch batteries, like no way. So anyways, sorry for the long story, but these were on clearance for 90% off. So we got them for 50 cents. So I got two of these blue ones, which I am saving for next year's stocking. And then these ones, we went ahead and opened for them to play with, but we've got Spider-Man. And see, like this one already sounds like it's losing power. But Spider-Man and then one green one for them to play with. And then there were a few of the small SpongeBob and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. I cannot find them anywhere and I didn't want to dig, but they're like this big, same concept. It goes around like this with the light. There's no snow in it though. And those were like 30 cents. And then the last thing that I got from Target are these man pacifiers and we've already busted into them. We bought six of them. We bought six, no we bought five maybe and then at 99 cents and then we went there yesterday or the day before and we found one randomly on the shelf and it was down to 39 cents which was good because then we lost one while we were there ironically so at least it was only 39 cents to replace it but they're snowflake ones and reindeer ones and they're by ma'am and Tristan actually really likes these kind of binkies I know he wasn't a binky baby before um, but once I weaned um, he's kind of gotten into them I am not at a point right now where I feel it's a need for either baby to wean. It's kind of hard to tell Tristan, no, you can't have a binky when Sydney has a binky. Um, it's not like he's older, they're the same age. And like I said, I'm not ready or at a point that I think it's like a big deal that Sydney or Tristan suck on a binky, they're, they're barely 18 months. So anyways, I thought that was a good deal, six bucks for six binkies, especially since the mans cost $3.99 a piece. So, that is my haul of Strider Right Target and Walmart. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you for my next one. Bye guys.